imagine you're walking through the woods and thump, your foot hits something. You look down, brush away the leaves, and find an egg. You look around and don't see any animals. Where could this egg have come from? But you've seen eggs before. What do you think might be inside this egg? One of the things you might have thought about is that it could be a bird. But birds aren't the only things that hatch from eggs. This egg right here is actually a lizard egg. That's right! Lizards also hatch from eggs. But not everything hatches from an egg. Things like squirrels or foxes don't hatch from eggs. What other animals hatch from eggs? That's our big question for today. What types of animals are born from eggs? To start investigating this question, let's take a closer look. Before we explore which animals come from eggs, we have to understand that all living things go through changes over time. Everything starts when a plant or animal is born. Then, over time, they grow, develop into adults, and eventually reproduce, starting the cycle back over again. Of course, after adulthood, all living things also eventually die. These four stages of birth, growth, reproduction, and death form what we call the life cycle. Thinking about the egg we found in the forest, what stage of the life cycle do you think it's in? Eggs fit into the birth stage, as they eventually hatch into a baby animal. But what types of animals hatch from eggs? The first type of animal that is born in eggs is birds. When eggs hatch, we call the babies chicks. Then over time, these chicks grow until they're larger adult birds. Once they're adults, the birds reproduce and lay more eggs and keep the life cycle going. Over time, in the last stage of the cycle, these adult birds will also die. Altogether, these stages make up the life cycle of birds. The second type of animal that is born from eggs are reptiles. A reptile is a cold-blooded animal that is covered in scales, like snakes, lizards, turtles, or crocodiles. Snakes lay eggs, and when they hatch, a baby snake is born. These baby snakes will grow over time and eventually become adult snakes. Once they're adults, they will reproduce and lay more eggs to make more baby snakes. Over time, the adult snakes will age and someday die. Altogether, these stages make up the life cycle of reptiles. So even though birds and reptiles look very different, they both follow the same life cycle. Bird eggs hatch into chicks, and then these chicks grow up. What will this chick look like when it's an adult? The adult bird will look like this. Notice that even though it's bigger, most of the characteristics are still the same as the chick. It still has two legs, a beak, two eyes, and wings. As an adult, it's just a lot bigger. Then let's think about reptiles. Out of an egg, a baby snake will hatch. Then, what do you think this baby snake will look like as an adult? The adult snake will look like this. Notice, just like birds, the baby and adult snakes share a lot of the characteristics and look very similar. The adult snake still has scales, two eyes, and a long tongue. Now, it's just bigger. Now that you learned what types of animals come from eggs, it's time to show what you know. You spot an egg on the ground. Based on what you've learned, which of these animals could hatch from this egg? 
Remember that reptiles and birds are two types of animals that hatch from eggs. So this egg could hatch into a lizard like this, a bird like this, or into a turtle like this. But the egg will never hatch into something like a dog, a cat, or a squirrel. Today you learned the life cycles of birds and reptiles and how they both hatch from eggs. Remember, all animals go through the same four phases of life, birth, growth, reproduction, and death. That's it for today. Until next time, stay curious.